People living near Cascade woke up to some shaking this morning as not one but two earthquakes shook, shook the area. This comes about nearly two months after that magnitude 6.5 quake rattled the Stanley area. So were today's earthquakes aftershocks or were they new quakes? Our Shira Matsuzawa looked into that and some other questions and she joins us with the answer. Shira. Well, Mark, the short answer, yes, they were aftershocks, and we can expect them to keep happening for a while. One expert I spoke with says earthquakes are pretty common here in Idaho, though. What's not common, larger magnitude earthquakes like the one we saw on March 31st. Remember this moment? When a magnitude 6.5 earthquake rocked Idaho and rattled nerves near Stanley. Oh, my God. Oh my God. What's that? Well, fast forward to Thursday and some folks in the Cascade area woke up to another jolt. KTVB's meteorologist Larry Gebert was on top of it. From Cascade, it's about 38 miles to the east and a little bit to the south is where the big one was. That was 4.4 on the Richter scale. However, that's not the first one. The first one was actually this smaller one. So were these new earthquakes? or were they aftershocks? An aftershock is any earthquake that happens in the fault zone following what we call the main shock. Dylan Mikesell is an associate professor in the geosciences department at Boise State University. He says March 31st 6.5 earthquake is known as the main shock and everything that happens after it is considered an aftershock. If there was to be another bigger earthquake than the magnitude 6.5, we would call that the main shock, and the magnitude 6.5 would then become what's known as a foreshock. And the bigger the main shock, the longer the aftershock sequence will last. So Mike Sell says we could experience aftershocks in this area for a few years. But the thing to keep in mind is that the, the size of the aftershocks also decreases with time as does the frequency of the aftershocks. He adds there are constantly earthquakes at a smaller magnitude happening all over Idaho, as many as one a day. We have just to the west, south of McCall, there's a, a sort of active area in Round Valley where there's lots of earthquakes. Eastern Idaho, Soda Springs area has earthquakes all the time. Uh, up in northern Idaho near the border with Montana and Lolo, there's earthquakes that happen fairly regularly. The Earth is constantly moving, stress is constantly building up, and earthquakes are the Earth's way of releasing that stress. And as of this morning, there have been at least 824 aftershocks since that magnitude 6.5 quake, but these are only earthquakes with magnitudes greater than 1.5. Mike Sell tells me they're not able to detect a lot of the really small ones. However, BSU did install a new temporary network of seismic stations in the area after the big quake strike struck but they don't have that data in real time. So once they analyze it, there will likely be even more aftershocks. Mark? They happen all the time. We just don't feel them all That's the time. Correct. That's the difference between what normally happens and what's happened here in the last two months. Absolutely. All right, Shira, thanks a lot.